Now, unless you've been living under one of these dilapidated piece of garbage uh, for the past year, the Trey Brotherhood, the most prestigious and elite organization in gaming history, has taken over YouTube officially. El Presidor, the founder and president of the Trey Brotherhood, has taken over minds of the Weebles since June 21st of 2008. Great guy, I wish I knew him personally, but I don't. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to refute the irrefutable, as some people have tried to take and make a 360 Brotherhood and bring irrefutable evidence to the, uh, to the, uh, to the Trey Brotherhood. Fucking garbage. Really? Seriously, you need to get this power brick out of your ass. Because honestly, that's where it is right now. Bill Gates needs to uh, kind of get it out for you. Now, I don't have a lot of money right now. Um, thank fucking God I made a mistake and bought the money box. So that way, this power brick alone heats my room pretty well. But this uh, piece of garbage over here, this keeps my house, this keeps my whole fucking house heated for days. I turn on about five minutes after I get the ROD. I still leave it on for a little bit longer. He's my whole fucking house for about a week. That's the one thing I will say that's good about the money box. Three shitty. I will say that in its defense. And that is going to be the only thing I will defend about the money box. Now. Really? I made a mistake by buying this. I should have to save the money and use that extra $200 to buy the tray, which I was dumb enough to, to not buy one. I don't know why I didn't get the tray. <sighs> the games on this shit are fucking garbage. I'm going to show you the the worst game I've ever played this whole generation. I'm going to show you right now. You ready? Fucking Queers of War 2. And I made the dumb dick move to get the limited collector's edition and spend more money than I should have. You know how much I should have fucking paid for this game? I shouldn't even buy it. That's how much I should have paid for it. Garbage. Okay, the campaign's great. Okay, I love the campaign. Fun as hell. Horde is, is good. But the online is fucking terrible. You go in the online, and for one thing, it's five on fucking five. It even says right here on the back. Multiplayer, two to ten. Five on five. Two to ten compared to resistances. Fucking 60 player battles. Really now? Really? I know this game is old, so I'm not. I'm really not even gonna touch on it. But the online's terrible. You go in there, you take behind cover, you uh, you duck, shoot. All right, hold on. You know what? I'm gonna show you what you do. You get your completely unoriginal weapon. Most likely, you're gonna get killed by a shotgun, like every other fucking whore in that game. So you get your gun, whatever you. Do it, and then you take something like this. Into your chair, yeah. You, you, you gotta take fucking cover behind a chair in this fucking game. You take cover behind something. You wait, like some fucking SOCOM crack mutation. You sit down. You wait for some motherfucker to come by. You pop up. You duck. Shoot. Duck. Shoot. But I forgot to mention one exclusive game that you guys never seem to talk about, and it's called the Money Box 360 Power Fucking Adapter. This is exclusive to only the three, the, the Money Box 360, and you won't find it on any other console. And what I can say is an honest review: a 360 Weeble will give this about, probably about a 10 out of 10. They find this thing an amazing feat in machinery. I mean, how innovative is this? A fucking LED that'll turn red when your system is broken, fans for fucking Christ's sake, on a power adapter. Just so that way, the fucking 360 with a Casper chip, Jasper chip, fucking wanker chip, I don't even know what the hell they make anymore. So just so that way, it isn't overheat, which it does anyway. I've gone through, how many money boxes have I gone through? I went through one broken right out of the, I'm not, I shit you not, broken right out of the box. The second one I bought had no power, wouldn't turn on. The third one I got actually worked, lasted for, a year, for about a year, then it died on me, then I shipped it out to micro shit. I got it back, and this is my fourth money box. Which is, it's honest way, it's gonna die soon. It froze me today when I was playing Call of Duty. Then it just didn't it disconnect me from Xbox Live. A faulty service I paid $50 a year for, which doesn't even fucking work. And it kicked me off. So, the freezing and the online glitches are just factual evidence that this thing is gonna be dying soon. It's 
really all I can say. In defense of the uh, money box, there is none. What fucking games do you guys have? Oh, alright, let's see what games you guys have. They're so fucking amazing. The fucking games that you guys clamor to? Halo 3, Gears of War. Now, I gotta say in defense of Halo 3. Campaign was fun. The online's decent. When you get decent players, because I will tell you, they're tougher and stringent players on the PlayStation Network, and there's some fucking little kids in this game. I will. This is the only worthwhile game you guys have. Okay, this is really it. And then we talk about, oh god, the grand fucking shit of them all. Gears of fucking war. Queers of war. The big fucking queers. What makes this game so great? The online is shit, glitchy as fuck, I pay lots of monies for a good internet connection, I have a fucking stable as shit internet connection, I'm always the host in Call of Duty, all the time, every, every time I leave a game because I'm getting pissed off, oh, a host ended the game, 10 times out of 11, no, 11 times out of 10, I'm the host, but whatever. So I don't have no shitty internet connection, don't, 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 don't go tell me I have a shitty internet connection because I don't. This game is just garbage. There's like, what, what, how many fucking patches have, has come out for the? How many game updates was there? Like fucking like ten by now. Go look at my achievement list. I fucking have almost every achievement in this goddamn game. Garbage. Terrible fucking game. But still, out of all the exclusives, and I'm not even gonna say exclusive because they're on the PC. So all the multi-platform Microsoft exclusive games you guys have, those are the games you guys clamor to and will not let go of. And that's it. One of the games I like to play anyway. Fucking. What I like to play a lot? I like to play Call of Duty. What, can you get that on the tray? Yeah, you can. Last time I checked. Grand Theft Auto. The tray, anybody? Bioshock. It was exclusive. It was. Until it transferred over to the tray. Because, what was it, fucking 2K realized that they needed to get over to the tray because on that tray network, people need this shit. Only worthwhile game that they really had was going for was this game. And then it went over to the trade. So why do I even own a Weeble? I mean, why, why do I even own a Moneybox 360 anymore? Couldn't tell you why, folks. Couldn't tell you why. But. In Moneybox defense. When the online. Is not full of little fucking kids. And if the price ever goes down. It's a worthy online service. But with the tray having. Damn near the same fucking internet capabilities. And the same. The same service. There's no comparison. A tray at three hundred dollars, which is the one I'm gonna be picking up a PS or something. I'm getting one of those. I'm getting one of those motherfuckers. Add me a PSN whenever the hell I get a PS3. And you know that's that's undeniable, irrefutable factual evidence right there, my friends. I own a I own a 360, and I own that fucking dilapidated garbage of a Wii. And I gotta tell you, I'm sick of it. As a gaming experience, I'm not getting any. I need to get that tray. I need it! Anyway. I'll let you guys go now. And I'll press the door. Thanks for admitting me the brotherhood. Brother. Tray now. Tray today. Tray forever. Tray for life.